Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we will start Unit 3 Process Costing. First we will understand the meaning of process. To get the final product, the raw material has to be passed through different stages and each stage is called process. We will take example of sugar industry. Okay, sugar industry final product is sugar. So how they will produce this sugar? First, they have to buy the sugar cane. The sugar cane will be converted into juice. This juice will be purified and according to that quality of the sugar or the quality of the juice, juice will be produced or this sugar will be produced. So to, to get the final product that is sugar, the raw metal has to be passed through different stages or different process and that each stage is called process got the meaning of process in order to convert the raw material into finished product it has passed through different stages and each stage is called process next we'll see the meaning of process costing process costing is a method of costing which is mainly used in manufacturing industry where units are continuously produced through one or more process. So this process costing is used in which type of industry? Manufacturing industry. What do you mean by manufacturing industry? The industry which convert the raw material into finished product. Such types of industry, they adopt process costing method to find out the or to calculate the cost of each process. So here are some examples of process costing. Sugar industry, paper industry, textile industry, oil refining industry, etc. Next we'll see the features of process costing. Number one, the product is standardized. So in process costing, the product is standardized. Second, the production of goods is continuous. So this process costing is and this process costing the production of goods is continuous. Third one, the finished product is the result of two or more process. As I told you, to get the finished product, the raw material has to be passed through two or more process or two or more stages. Fourth one, cost of each process is collected. Fifth one, Cost per unit is the average cost. So these are the five features of process costing. Next we'll learn the meaning of process loss. While converting raw material into finished goods, certain wastages may arise. Okay, there will be a certain wastages of raw material while converting this raw material into finished goods. Such wastages may be due to evaporation, inefficiency or carelessness of the worker. Such losses or the such wastages are considered as process losses. And this process loss is classified into two types. Number one, normal loss. Number two, abnormal loss. First, we will see the meaning of normal loss. Any loss arising due to normal factors like evaporation, withdrawal for test, shrinkage, sampling, etc. Such losses are considered as normal loss. And this normal loss should be credited to process account. In process account, credit side you have to record the normal loss. Second is abnormal loss. Any loss arising due to abnormal factors if the reason of this loss is abnormal, like machine breakdown, accident, carelessness or inefficiency of the workers, such losses are called abnormal loss. And this abnormal loss should be credited to process account. In process account, in credit side, you have to record abnormal loss. And it is transferred to costing, profit and loss account. Got the meaning of normal loss and abnormal loss? If the reason of the loss is normal like evaporation or shrinkage, then it is called normal loss. 
if the reason of the loss is abnormal like the machine breakdown accident etc such losses are called abnormal loss next we'll see the meaning of abnormal gain if the actual loss is less than the normal loss it is known as abnormal gain and this abnormal gain is debited to process account in process account debit side you have to record abnormal gain and credit it to abnormal gain account got the meaning of process loss so all these topics are asked for two marks in this chapter you will learn difference between process costing and job costing okay in this chapter you will learn difference between process costing and job costing so on this topic i have made a shorts so the link of the shorts i will give you in the description box so that you can get the notes of this topic so in my next video i will solve problem on process costing if you like the video please do like share and subscribe my channel see you in my next video